All right, so um, I'm not going to use music this time. So this is graph, and I mixed the equations up, all right? So there's some positive, negative fractions, all that sorts of stuff. So this is, go ahead and write your name. This is my paper, so I'm going to write what? Aranda. And then period, so this is for period one or six. And today's date is, I believe, the 11th. Yeah, boy. So don't forget, this graph is called, um, it's a linear equation. So in order to graph it, it has to be in the form of y equals mx plus b. Remember, m is the slope and y, b is the intercept, the y-intercept, or the starting point. All right? So this is in that form. So basically, my starting point will be in the y-axis. So right here. So I'm looking for 3, positive 3. So where is it? It's right there. 3, positive 3, which is 0, comma 3. All right? So now I need to move. When I will move it, move it. Na, 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 na. So you're going to go up, down, right, left. Okay? So what is your M? Well, it's right here. My m is 4, not 4x, it's 4. So I'm going to put 4, and to put 4 as a fraction, I'm going to put over 1. So now determine, is it going to go up, down, right, or left? So it's going to go up. So I'm going to go 4 up and 1 to the right. Okay? So now you go to the graph, and that's what you do. 4 up. Ready? Go. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1 to the right. 1, 2, 3. Three, four, and one. So that one would be about right there. Now I'm going to go backwards. I can't go one, one, two, three, four, because it won't be a straight line. One, one, two, three, four. It won't be a straight line. But I could go one, two, three, four, and then one to the left. One, two, three, four to the left. Again, you do it. You say it. Yeah, you said it. So now we're just going to go ahead and trace, connect the dots. There you go. All the way. Then I have my A, B, C, D, E, F. A, B, C, D, E, F. So now all these are solutions. So how can you tell? Well, we're going to check here. So pick a point. Let's pick E, 1, 7. So when I apply, apply the, your x, comma y into the equation, it better balance. So let's write the equation. What is your y? It's right here. 7 should equal 4 times something, which is x, which is 1, plus 3. So 7 should equal 4 times 1. 4 plus 3, and 7 should equal 7? Yes, it balances. So 1 comma 7 is a solution. Well, which one is not? Well, let's look at the graph. All these are not solutions. Are not. So what am I going to choose? Let's choose this dot right here. That's 4 comma 2. So I'm going to use 4 comma 2 as a no solution. So I'm going to put x comma y, right? So I'm going to go ahead and do 4 equals 4x plus 3. Your y is 2. So 4 times what? What's your x? 4 plus 3. So 2 is equal to what? 4 times 4. What's 4 times 4? Yeah, 16, right? 16, and then what? 16, let me see, hold on. All right, 16 plus 3 is 19. So does that balance? Nope. So 4 comma 2 is not a solution. There you go. That's the first one. Got it? All right. Now let's do this. Yeah, boy. 
Yeah, boy. So now let's do the second one. All right. The second one is kind of the same thing. So again, the first thing I do is put y is equal to what? mx plus c. And again, your b is your starting point. Your starting point. Starting point. And that's your b right here. And it's your plus 5. Where's your plus 5? Where's your 5? Right there. That's your 5, which is your 0, comma 5. Right? So now, again, make sure you write this down. M is the delta Y over delta X. Up, down, right, left. All right, here we go. So what's your M? Negative 3 over what? Yeah, over 1. Because negative 3 over 1 is negative 3. So now, am I going to go up or down? I'm going to go down because it's negative. And then how about positive 1? Yep, to the right. So now go ahead and move it. Go. That was totally uncalled for. <laughs> so here we go. 1, 2, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, 1. And look what happens when it's negative. 1, 2, 3, 1. 1, 2, 3, 1. Going down. 1, 2, 3, 1. Now I got to do the other side. 1, 2, 3, 1. Hook. 2, 3, 1. Hook. 2. And there you go. Go ahead and fill it in. Not, I mean, connect the dots. Extend it with the arrow. Now we're going to do a solution. Which one? Pick one. Um, this is my A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So let's pick H. That's 5, comma, negative 10. And then let's pick well, no, no solution. Mr. Randa, can I use 0, 0? Yeah, why not? 0, comma, 0. Just plug it in. All right? Just, and then just do your work. All right, let's do the next graph. All right? The next graph is, well, again, y equals mx plus b. What's your starting point? Yep, negative 4. So I'm going to go ahead and draw the line again. See, it's all the same thing. Negative 4, where is it? Tell me when to stop. 4? No. Yep, right here, negative 4. Got it? So negative 4. So there you go. So now I need to move. Write this down. Write it. So there I need negative 2, right? Your M is what? Negative 2 over 1. Be careful. Negative 2, is it up or down? Yes, down. 1, right or left? Right, there you go. So let's go ahead and do it. Negative two and then one. So two steps down. Ready? Here we go. Army. One, two, one. One, two, one. One, two, one. Now up. One, two, left. Up, up, left. Up, up, left. Up, up, left. Up, up, left. One, two, left. One, two, left. And there's your graph. And notice it's going down from left to right. Right? And again, pick your solutions. All right? It's got a balance. Pick one. I'll pick, let me see, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. I'll pick A. A is what? Um, x is negative 7, comma 10. And then I'll pick, I'll pick right here. 5, comma, negative 2. That should be no solution. So let me see, let me do one. Which one do you want me to do? I'll do no solution. y is equal to negative 2x minus 4. Here's my x, comma, y. My y is negative 2 is equal to negative 2 times your x, which is 5, minus 4. Negative 2 is equal to 
negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 minus 4. So minus 10 minus 4, I'll do my little baseball. Negative 10, negative 4, who won? The negative by how many? 14. So negative 10 minus 14 is not. So 5 comma negative 2 is not a solution. All right? So far, so good? Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh, these. All right, so let's try another one. Ready? Oh, this is a fraction. It's going to scare me. No, it's not. Just do the same thing. Y is equal to MX plus B. What is your starting point? Well, you tell me. Negative 6, right? So here we go. Negative 6 right there. And that is your 0, comma, negative 6, right? So let's do this. Again, what am I writing? The slope, the m, is delta y over delta x, which is the change in y, up or down, and the change of x, right or left. So here we got the m already. So your m is already 3 over 5. It already gives you the change in x, 3 over 5. So what am I going to do? I'm, 3 is going to go up, 5 to the right. There you go. 3 up. Ready? Here we go. Uh, yup. Uh, yup. See, it's going up. Now the opposite. And that's it. See, it's going up from left to right. Okay. There you go. So now let's pick a point A, B, C, D. Which point do you want to pick? B? All right, you can pick this one, 0, comma, negative 6, which we got right here, or 5, comma, negative 3, or 10, comma, 0, or negative 5, comma, negative 9. So I'll pick 0, comma, negative 6. Plug it in. Oh, fractions. I'm scared, Mr. Randa. All right, let's try this one. What's your y? Oops, I'm going to put x, comma, y. What's your y? Negative 6 is equal to 3 fifths times x. What's your x? 0 minus 6. What's 0 times a fraction? 0. Take away 6. Negative 6. So does that balance? Yep, that balances. So 0 comma negative 6 is a solution. Hello? Hello? How about no solution? You know, we've talked a great deal about movies. They tell me you're under contract with Paramount. You're signed with Paramount. No solution. Here we go. So ready? So. No solution. Let's pick one. Let's pick um, negative 2 and 2. Let's pick that one. Negative 2 and 2. All right. Negative 2 and. Oh, that's a weird 2. So here we go. Let's pick it. All right. So here we go. Y equals 3 over 5 x minus 6. So here we go. What's your y? 2 equals 3 over 5 times x, which is negative 2 over 1, right? So then we just multiply. Let's multiply. 2 is equal to, what's 3 times negative 2? That's negative 6 over 5 minus 6. Well, you know this is kind of like a 1. Take away 6, so that's not going to equal 2. This cannot equal 2. So no solution, all right? So it makes common sense. So all you have to do is put, put over 1 and multiply side by side, all right? Let's try the next one. So I'm not going to say anything. Just go ahead and do it. What am I looking for? Yep, right there, which is your 0, comma, 1. Up, down, right, left, which is, there's one negative. So it's either, either going to go to the numerator or denominator. So I'll just put in the numerator. Why? 
because there's no two negatives, because negative divided by negative is positive. So you only have one negative. So one goes to the top or the bottom. So here we go. Negative one goes down. Seven goes to the right. So here we go. Ready? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there you go. Okay. So you only got three points right here. You only got three points right there. So now what do we do? Well, pick one. Let's see. Uh, seven comma zero. Seven comma zero should be my solution. And uh, I can pick three comma three. No solution. Let's try them. All right. So seven comma zero. So let's try y is equal to negative one over seven x plus one. So y is zero and negative one over seven times seven over one plus one so here we go negative one times seven is negative seven over seven plus one what's negative seven divided by seven well that's negative one plus one well let me do my baseball negative one plus one nobody wants so it's zero so then you write your little solution so this is the solution how about no solution? Let's try this. So your y is 3 equals negative 1 over 7 times 3 over 1 plus 1. So this is negative 3 over 7 plus 1. So that, that cannot be 3. So no solution. Right? No solution. So, and that's it. And then the next one, well, we can't do anything, but we're going to have to rewrite this. So I need to simplify 25 over 30. I need to rewrite this equation. Divide by 5, 5 over 6. So my new equation is y is equal to 5 over 6x. So here we go. y is equal to mx plus b. What's your b? Your b is? Yeah, zero. There's nothing right here. There's nada. Ni mais. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. So there's your zero. There's nothing. So now we go ahead and write the same thing over. Delta Y, delta X. Up, down. There you go. Right, left. Yeah. So let's go ahead, 5 over 6, 5 over 6. And remember, they're positive. So now it's going to go up, right? 5 up and 6 to the right because they're positive. So let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's good enough. We only got three points. And then let's put uh, RST, I guess. RST, which one do you want to use as a solution? I'll use 6, 5. 6, 5. You could use this equation. All right, why not? It's the same thing. So your X, Y, your Y is 5. We got 5 over 6 times x, which is 6 over what? 1. So then multiply side by side. It's 5 times 6, 30. 6 times 1, 6. So 30 divided by 6, 5. So it's a solution. And then no solution. Uh, can I pick 0, 0? No. Um, 2, comma 1? Yeah, why not? 2, comma 1. So x comma y, y is equal to 5 over 6x, y is 1, 5 over 6 times 2 over what? Yeah, 2 over 1, and go ahead, what do you get? I wasn't nervous until the service. See, you weren't nervous. 
So 5 times 2 is 10. 6 times 1 is 6. And that's not 1. So no. Nope. No solution. Right? 2 comma 1 is not a solution. And we're done. That is it. And here I am on my prep. Making sure that this video is not blocked. All right. Here we go. Let's try it. All right. Take it easy. Um, hopefully you understand it much better. Adios.